Okay, so it has been a while since I did a what's on my phone video. So this time I will do a what's on my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So which app I use and so on. So here is my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and I use a lot of apps so I can't go through all of them but we will start with my folders I have on my front screen on the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So let's start with this folder. I, I call this folder Inbox. And the reason for that is that here I have the apps I check um, uh, notifications from, uh, comments and so on, and see if someone has liked my post and so on. So that's why I have, for example, Gmail. That's my email, of course. And I use the Gmail app for my Microsoft, Microsoft Exchange account. You can use Microsoft Exchange accounts in the Gmail app, but you can't do that in Inbox by Gmail that I prefer to use. The other app here is Facebook um, Page Manager. Facebook Page Manager is because I post all my videos to my Facebook page, swatling.net. And also Flipboard. I'm a huge user of Flipboard. But not so much for reading. Uh, I do it for posting because I have a lot of magazines in Flipboard that I post to. And I have Google Keep here. I use Google Keep as my GTT system. Getting things done. So I use Google Keep for that. And um, Instagram, of course. I post some photos and so on. So I need to check uh, comments on them and that. And uh, here we have YouTube Studio, Creator Studio. I use that to see how many views I have on my videos and how much money I have earned and so on. And Twitter, of course. Uh, I post to Twitter all my videos and posts and all that. So Twitter is very useful for me. I have 17,000 followers. So 17,000 followers. So that's quite a lot. And uh, of course, Google Plus, that's my most used social network. I have a lot of followers, around 70,000 followers on Google Plus. And I have an Apple community with half a million members. Google Calendar is also in my GTD system to get them a Google Keep. So Google Calendar and Google Keep and Inbox by Gmail, all three apps is my getting things done setup. So all three apps syncs together with notifications and reminders and all that. So it works really great. And Inbox by Gmail I use for my um, YouTube and blog email. So I have that for my business here with my website and YouTube channel. And uh, I use Google's Messages as my text messaging app. I prefer that app because I can post GIFs and so on in that app really easily. So that was Inbox. My next icon here is Google Reminders. And uh, I use that a lot to add reminders and uh, reminders that will... Uh, uh, come up again so for example uh, uh, clear my inbox every day for example I can set a reminder for that so I can see that uh, and that those reminders shows up in inbox by gmail so that's pretty nifty and also in google calendar so you can see all the reminders that you do in this app in google calendar and inbox by gmail the next folder is called consume and that's because here is my apps that I use to consume media, watching movies, reading books and so on. So we have the YouTube app of course and we have the reader app to read books out aloud using um, text to speech. We have Cuckoo Time for uh, a lot of TV series. 
and Cody, of course, to watch a lot of movies and TV series. And here we have Listen Audiobook Player to listen to audiobooks. And here is my favorite, Moon Plus Reader Pro. In that app, I read a lot of ebooks. I read um, a lot of books every year because one of my biggest interests is reading ebooks. I love ebooks. And Pocket Cast to listen to podcasts. And we have Pocket to read articles that I haven't read yet because I, I haven't had time to read. I read them later in Pocket. We have Terrarium TV to watch movies and TV series. And we have the app Goodreads here. And it's not for consuming actually, but uh, I have it in the consume folder because here I read about books I want to read and so on. And uh, reading reviews of books and so on. And uh, here is my favorite web browser, uh, Samsung Internet Browser. It's a lot better than Chrome in my opinion. So I use Samsung Internet Web Browser. And we have Netflix here. We, are, we have SPMC. That's a Kodi fork that uh, uh, is much better for mobile use if you use it on a mobile phone because you have much better buttons and so on and um, back buttons and navigation and all that. So SPMC is a great Kodi fork. SVT Play is a streaming app for uh, Swedish channels. So... I use it to watch Swedish TV series and movies. And here we have the TV program app to watch, to see what's on television here in Sweden every day. So I have uh, all the different channels here so I can see what it's on TV at the moment and later on. And of course Spotify to listen to music. So that was the consume folder. Then we have a create folder and the create folder is to create content of course. So I use Samsung notes to write some notes. I have simple notepad to write articles in and I have AC screen recorder to do screen recording on my phone directly when I want to show you how to do stuff on a, in an app for example. And we have Bloggeroid and Bloggeroid is an awesome app for bloggers like me so in this app i can write articles and link to them add uh, images and so on and uh, a lot of cool stuff so bloggeroid is one of my most used apps actually and uh, we also have um, ginger page and that is also an awesome app for me because i'm swedish and uh, i don't write in my native language so I write in English so this is a great app to see if my grammar is correct and so on and this app can correct my grammar when writing and so on <clears throat> and we also have simple note for writing in notes that syncs to all my devices and we have KineMaster Pro that's my favorite video editing app and we have Journey, that is a journal app, because I use journaling a lot, because that's a really great way to empty your brain, empty your head every day, to write a journal of everything you have done every day. So I do that every day. <clears throat> we also have Open Camera. It's a great app if you want to use external microphones and so on when uh, recording videos. Auphonic Edit is an app to do some uh, audio edit after recording audio. So you can do some audio edits with that app. And a photo scanner from Google is for scanning photos to be digitalized and so on. So it's a great app. Overlay is an awesome app to do some really cool text effects on photos and so on. I use it to do some YouTube thumbnails, so it's great. Power Director, Cyberlink Power Director is a great video editor also 
Kina Monster is my favorite, but the Cyberlink Power Director is an awesome app too, if you want a great um, video editor. Voice recording, it's Samsung's own voice recorder app, and it's awesome because you can also edit audio in that app. So that's a great app to uh, record some audio. Samsung Notes again, so I've done some wrong here. You should not have Samsung Note two times. So I take that away. And here we have ScanBot. It's to scan uh, papers, uh, receipts, and um, notes and all that. So I can digitalize all the papers around me. I live in a paperless way, so I don't like to have papers around. Snapseed is for some photo editing, so I use that. And the last folder today is the Google folder. And here I have all the Google apps that I use. I'm a heavy user of Google services and Google apps. I use Google Drive. AdSense is to see how much I, uh, revenue I get every day from my videos and blog posts. And Google Analytics to see my websites, how good they are. And Google Chrome as a web browser, I use it sometimes. Fitness, I don't use so much anymore because I use Samsung Health nowadays because I have a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. But Google Fitness still counts all my steps and so on. Google Plus, I have already said, I use Google Plus a lot. And we also have um, the Google app, the Google Now app. And here we have one of my new favorites, Google Home. I use it a lot together with my Chromecast Ultra. And here again, Inbox by Gmail, Google Keep. And here is Google Play Store, of course, to install apps and so on. Remote the desktop, Google's remote desktop. I don't use so much anymore because I'm post PC, so I don't have any computers anymore. But before that, I used it a lot because uh, I don't use computers. So every time I needed to use a computer, um, I do it remotely instead. So I use the Google Remote Desktop app to connect to my computers remotely. So uh, nowadays I don't use it anymore because I don't own any computers anymore. I only have this Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus as my computer, as you know. Google Maps, I have it for uh, navigation, for example. Google Calendar, Gmail. And Google Photos, I'm a heavy user of Google Photos. I really love to store all my photos in Google Photos. I love it a lot. So uh, me and my wife, we share photos together and so on in Google Photos. I like it. So that was all the apps I have on my front screen on my Google on my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really need more subscribers. Okay, bye.